seems a little uh, lackluster. I mean, you know, he's in this grimy New York courtroom. There's no cameras. Uh, is, is, is this different? I mean, is this different than what? I mean, because you know, they raid Mar-a-Lago. It's very exciting. This doesn't seem to have that element. Yeah, it's a grind. Uh, I, and no, no offense to the good people of Manhattan, uh, but it's kind of dingy, right? It's kind of grubby. You just heard the echo, the shouted uh, lines in the lobby of a courthouse that probably does not see very many glamorous uh, moments coming through the hallway. And Trump is, of course, all about glamour. He's all about the bigness. Uh, he's all about this larger-than-life persona. And this is all kind of grubby, small stuff. And uh, I think, it to, to the point that many have made, this helped him enormously. All the criminal charges helped him enormously to win the Republican nomination. Republicans rallied around Trump. They got behind him. They said, we're not going to let Joe Biden and the Democrats, the rhetoric that you just heard from Trump there. That's good for helping Trump get to the 88, 90 percent of Republican support that he needed. But it doesn't work with persuadable voters, that 10 or 15 percent of the electorate that are persuadable. This doesn't help. And this is, uh, especially if he were convicted, uh, this is very dangerous for him. I want to show you, Chris, there's a new NBC poll uh, that's out that's interesting, kind of caught me by surprise. Uh, it shows Trump trailing Biden uh, with RFK in the race. Look at this, Biden 39 percent, Trump 37 percent, RFK 13 uh, percent. What do you make of this, Chris? Yeah, and this, uh, this goes along with another poll that we saw from Marist College that shows with RFK in the race, taking more votes, hurting both candidates, but taking more votes away from Trump. And that's something that Democrats are, have not thought would be the case. If you've seen the full court press from the Biden administration, from the Biden White House and from the campaign, putting forward Kennedy siblings, marshalling environmental, activ uh, environmental activists with whom Kennedy used to work to say, get out of the race, you're hurting the environment, all of that pressure. I have wondered all along whether or not a lot of sort of the fed off, uh, uh, fed up, uh, independent outsider candidates who are looking for change and all of that stuff, many of whom supported Trump before, might not end up with RFK. And we're seeing a little polling here, a little indication that while he's hurting both, he's hurting Trump more. Yeah, that's so interesting because I feel like, Chris, it's been drilled into our heads uh, that, that RFK is going to take votes away from Biden. But this poll, as you just said, is sort of showing us the opposite. Yeah, and the the thing for Trump that he has to be concerned about is that in right now uh, RFK Jr. is on the ballot in Michigan. Uh, I think that by the time we get to the end, Pennsylvania is sort of a little bit of a question, but I think by the time we get to the end, in all seven swing states, we'll see RFK Jr. on the ballot one way or the other. And yes, I can see how uh, Biden will be hurt more by RFK in deep blue states, right, that RFK will take more Democratic votes away in some states. But gosh, in swing states like Arizona, like Georgia, like Wisconsin, where it's going to be close and Trump is counting on winning the, the preponderance of the independent voters, RFK poses a real problem there. And if Trump is in for six weeks, six weeks is several geologic eras of time uh, in a presidential election year. If Trump is spending six weeks in a grimy New York courtroom in a, in a dingy courthouse talking about the latest events of the day, like court TV, that doesn't help him get back those voters uh, who might be drawn to RFK Jr. Yeah, the thought of him, I, I can't get it out of my mind, having to sit in that courtroom for six weeks, uh, no cell phone, he can't really be working on the campaign at all, really just has to focus at night and then on the weekends. Um, it's, it's hard to imagine this is only day one. We've got a long way to go. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.